Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? I have some tech news for you today. First, let's talk about Radeon RX 6800 series graphics card shortages. Videocards.com did a great job gathering all that data into one handy table, so we can see that uh, there is indeed a very nasty situation happening where uh, cards are actually being sold for anywhere from 80 plus to 250 plus USD over the MSRP price. Additionally, it doesn't look like there will be a quick resupply anytime soon, as you can see some retailers are reporting their stock numbers and they don't look good. This is for 6800 XT, so as you can see very few cards are actually on the way, uh, most of the numbers are <laughs> on zero for 6800 XT and this is RX 6800, so yeah. Um, hundreds have been ordered and uh, only a few are actually on the way. Of course, the next question is, what does AMD have to say about all this? Well, they actually gave a statement to Hardware Unboxed, in which they said that their Radeon RX 6800 XT and RX 6800 custom partner models will be available at MSRPs in 4-6 to six weeks. This statement comes at a time when not only partner models but also the reference cards are out of stock globally. I wouldn't advise you to hold your breath and wait for MSRP prices on RX 6800 series cards even after 8 weeks, because I don't think we will see any significant number of stock of these cards at MSRP prices. They may do that just to tick the box, but don't expect it. You may have heard the story that allegedly Nvidia sold $175 million worth of graphics cards to miners. And uh, it may be true, it may be not true, but uh, I actually have another thought that I want to share with you. What you see right now is Ethereum cryptocurrency prices. And as you can see, the price is climbing. Graphics cards are mainly bought to mine Ethereum. And I'm worried that we will see resurgence in popularity in crypto mining. So yeah, there may be even more shortages than we are expecting because Regular people, like you and me, are actually uh, getting interested in buying these cards for mining, getting into mining, just because you're, they're sitting at home, they've got nothing to do, so they want to play around with it. Before we move on to the next story, I have a quick message for you. Why pay the full price for a game when you can save some money? I am buying my games at cdkeys.com. They have a great selection of new, old and upcoming games that can be pre-ordered for less. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and enjoy the game right away. Link is in the description below. Next up is another RTX 3060 Ti story, and apparently uh, some people were able to get their hands on one, and I mean buy one, ahead of launch. Of course, they had to pay the premium for it. For example, this person from Portugal paid 526 euros for his Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti Gaming OC. In other news, 3060 Ti was spotted in Geekbench OpenCL benchmark, and the results are pretty much what we expected. It is a bit faster than 2080 Super, and uh, it is behind the RTX 3070 card, what is interesting is that it is really, really close to RX 6800. Just a refresher for those of you who may not have seen the previous episode of my news, uh, we actually have some more benchmarks of RTX 3060 Ti, which confirm that it is about 10% slower than RTX 3070. We have some 3D Mark benchmarks, as well as Ashes of the Singularity, which all tell us the same story. 3060 Ti beats 2080 Super and about 10% slower than 3070. 
The next story is about the upcoming AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Apparently, its core clock speed limit is set to 3 GHz, compared to 2.8 GHz on RX 6800 XT. This actually confirms that AMD is purposefully handicapping their RX 6800 series to not be able to reach the 6900 XT performance level. The last story for today is actually the most exciting one. We have some huge leaks about AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT custom models. Two cards have actually been spotted, which means that there are two versions of custom cards that are being tested. One has a core clock of 2950 MHz and another one is set to 2854 MHz. The GPU power limit has also been confirmed by this leak and actually Patrick Schur gave us the correct information previously. As you can see, the higher clocked card is set to 211 watts, while the lower clocked card is set to 186 watts. This is a total graphics power, not the total board power. Total board power is expected to be anything up to 250 watts. That is all for now, thank you for watching, follow me on Twitter at iVadimTech, and it was I, Vadim, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.